Hi, welcome to our Managing Resources tutorial. It's Kathleen here again. I'm going to take you through how to create resources, associate those with a user login, how to view your resource workload, uh, check whether your resources are over or under allocated, as well as, of course, how to assign them to tasks and look at reporting. So let's kick off by going to the All tab and if you click on the Resources icon here you'll be able to see all the resources that you've already created and they're available across any project that you create. So from here I can click to add a resource, I can use the little settings icon here to hide any inactive resources, so resources I don't want to see in my view anymore. I can export of course, uh, use the search option here to find a resource, as well as this drop down allows me to view resources by a particular project. So if I only want to see resources on this project, simply change that and that would change the resource view for me. So let's go back to all projects so I can see all of my resources. And you'll see that SAM is selected here. So on the right hand side it's giving me detailed information on this resource. So here I can set his active or inactive flag. I can set the short name as well as associating a resource with a login. So when you create a resource you can use that to assign to tasks, to uh, view workload and allocation, but unless you assign a user login here this resource isn't actually a person. They can't log into the system, they can't um, receive email notifications or alerts. So uh, I'll show you when we create a new resource how we do that. And there's this default rate, hourly rate, as well as here I can see all the projects that Sam is allocated to. So let's click add a resource and you'll see this button in a couple of other places on your project task pane. You could also jump to creating a resource. Uh, it's the same box will come up. So obviously we're going to create an active resource. Let's create another meeting room because of course resources don't have to just be people. It could be plant, equipment or rooms. Let's call it, uh, the short name could be MR5. I'm not going to associate a user login because this is not a person, but if I wanted to I'd simply click the drop down and pick from my list of users that I've already created under my main menu and users. Here a hourly rate for this project, uh, sorry for this resource, um, by default on your project you have an hourly rate that will be applied to resources if you don't enter this, but you might, so this meeting room might cost say $50 an hour to hire, so if I put that in that will be the rate that is applied on all of my resource costing, uh, both planned and actual. And I'll click save to create that new resource. And you'll see now that shows in my list over here on the left. I can simply click on that again if I need to edit any of the information. Now, I haven't used this resource yet on a project, so uh, allocated projects is nothing here, and that's what a little message down here is telling me. So if we jump to a project now and assign this resource, I'll go to my sample project, which I love to use, and pick a new task. You can of course assign a resource by clicking on the resource cell here of that task. Uh, or by going to the resource tab down the bottom in your task information pane. You'll see when I've clicked the resource uh, cell, it's brought up all the resources that are active on my account and it shows their availability for the duration of this task. So you see these top two resources are not available to work on this task and when I hover over it tells me the task that this resource is already assigned to that conflicts with the duration of this task. Uh, meeting room 5 that we just created is of course available, so I'll select that. You can of course over allocate resources by selecting those that aren't available, it's entirely up to you, but this gives you a clear view of who is available and who isn't. You see here again, I could create a new resource if I click this, it'll just bring up, um, it's reminding me I have to enter a resource name and that will create it for me. So I'm going to click OK to add meeting room 5 to that resource. You'll see on the right hand side my Gantt was also updated with that resource name against that task. And if I want to change the allocation of this resource, an easy way is just to jump down to the resources tab here on the information pane and uh, click on the allocation, change the percentage and that's immediately updated for me. On your project dashboards you may have seen the resources uh, charts, so we'll go to those 
and resources of course also shown under my health chart here that on this project 67% of my resources are my resources sorry, are 67% under allocated and if I clicked here on this uh, link it will take me to the task page where I could uh, assign or unassign resources and over on the right where I keep my resource chart it lists all of the project resources uh, those are their short names and if I hover over it shows me their long names and whether they're under allocated or over allocated you can see for all of my resources here they're under allocated and the percentage uh, for each of them is shown there on the health chart of course that's an overall average across my project this is true of course of my portfolio dashboard so if I went to my all tab and dashboard it's going to show me at the project level my resource uh, allocation so here and when I hover over it shows me the percentage and again on the resource graph it shows me for the project overall the allocation percentage of my resources so you can see they're all under allocated they're all green if they were over allocated they would show as red or amber and on the right hand side of the graph another tool to managing your resources is the workload grid which is also under the all tab so we will click on that it's this icon here and uh, named workload and here you have a month by month and obviously day by day view of the resources on your account, their daily allocation and of course then the tasks that they're allocated to. So uh, let's jump to a month where there's a lot more information and that might give you a better view of what a workload grid can look like. So you'll see that green is um, for where my resources are allocated to 8 hours or less a day uh, with their tasks and anything over that is over allocation so they show as red. If I click on say Mike for this uh, Friday if I click on that it shows me the t project and the task that he's assigned to how many hours and uh, there's an option here for me to unassign them so this is a quick way to unassign any over allocated resources as well as viewing for your entire um, team how their work is spread day by day you can also see of course when resources are free so for this meeting room for example I can see that it's available through all these days that are grey. You can export this information using the export button on the right and each of these resources this is a link that I can click through uh, I'll click one and you see what happens I'll be taken straight through to that resources information page where I can edit that uh, quickly and easily. Lastly for resources, if we go to the reports tab, which is also under your all area, there are resource reports. You may have used these before. Um, you simply click either on resources or on workload and you can produce an availability summary or a much more detailed a report on resource availability on your projects. The availability summary is by project, so you would select that here. And for the detail report, you can choose by resource how you want to see that information. You could, of course, uh, here as you'll see, I've selected all the resources and I can choose to report by day, week or month. Just under that, uh, those resource reports are the workload reports. And again, there is a summary report as well as a detailed report. So you see with the workload, I can again choose by resource or all of them and the detail report. So when you run these reports, of course, it's going to tell you uh, the tasks and time that you have your resources allocated and how much time they have available. I'll show you uh, just quickly on the resources report if I select the availability summary for my sample project and let's view it on screen so it comes up nice and quick. For the week that I selected, so the time period I selected, it's showing me all of my project team the hours available that they have, so they all have 40 hours available because it's a five day working week on this project, how many hours they're assigned and then how many they're available. If you'd like some more information on our detailed reporting, please uh, view our reports tutorial. If you've got any questions on resources or creating them, uh, please contact us in the support team.